Hey guys, it's Will Kriske here from Potato Strong. I wanted to talk about perfection. Right off the bat, I want to just say that you know we're not perfect, perfect as far as our diet goes, but we are committed 100% to the plant-based, low-fat diet. So I, you know, I was mentioning in this other video about moderation that you shouldn't try to snack and eat other non-plant-based foods and and things that tempt you that because they tend to grow in the diet if you start adding a lot of um, a lot of oil or if you're eating chips or pizza with cheese or anything, even if it's vegan, fattening foods that are just going to tempt you. Um, and the palate won't really adjust and uh, those things tend to be addictive as well. So what, I'm gonna what I want to talk about this is perfection is within that 100% plant-based diet, um, some things that you know you might not do perfectly and I, I'm not perfect either. And any, even what perfect means is, is our up, to, up for debate, but just want to talk about some of the things that, um, that I've seen, and especially even just in the last few videos and since I started this Facebook page, because I'm trying to provide a way for people that are meat and dairy to go plant-based, and if they're raw and they want to eat some cooked food, um, you know, here's some things that are tasty. So... Some things that uh, people might eat within that realm of plant-based. Um, there's the organic aspect. So you'll, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, you should buy organic. And um, I think that that's true. But not everybody can get organic food. Um, in a lot of cases, it, it is more expensive. So. You know, you try to do what you can. There's, you know, you buy canned food and some packaged food and stuff like that. Flour. I mean, there's so many things, and it's like, is this all organic? So you don't even know half the time. So the majority of the idea for me is to get people and get all of us eating plant-based. Okay. So then, over time, we can improve some things. And some things, you know, people may disagree on. Some things you might want to do, but you just don't do at the time. And, and, and over time, you might change that. Um, so, you know, maybe you buy big bags of potatoes and, you know, you try to get organic, but maybe they're not available. Um, you know, there's certain things that have more pesticides. And so this type of thing is just going to be an ongoing um, the process that you can try to find those farmers and but I think just eating plants is going to help a huge amount like potatoes and vegetables and fruit um, you know you've got um, vitamins you know generally speaking you don't really need to take most vitamins there's the B12 and the D issue but you know People were asking me, you know, is this vitamin vegan based on how it's made or whatever. I don't have all the answers, so you seek out those things over time as you discover and learn, oh, well, you know, maybe this thing isn't vegan and you try, you try. Um, sugar, you know, there's different people's views about whether to use sugar or not. You know, generally we all agree to eat whole foods, but uh, some of the desserts, you know, they'll have maple syrup, agave, brown sugar, different things. Um, sweeteners, artificial sweeteners, you know, people will say, well, you know, you shouldn't eat those. It, you know, it makes people crave sweets or crave fat, but, but or, you know, maybe there's chemicals and issues with it. Um, maybe you, you drink a little bit of that. Um, and maybe at some point in the future, you know, you'll try to not drink those types of things. Um, soy products, a lot of people, have, there's different things, there's negative views about soy in some cases with the packaged meats like the soy dogs, hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff. And I just think that if people ate those as a transition when you're used to having meat and potatoes and different things on the plate to get off the meat and dairy products. So I mean that's our main goal. I think that's a good transition. I've done it. You know, maybe you evolve and you look back and say, geez, you know, I should have just went right to this. But 
you know, we're trying to be practical and realistic here. I think that those products have a place for a lot of people to transition. So there's an ideal, you know, maybe that ideal is like everybody eats fruit and that's it. You know, maybe that is an ideal. I'm not sure that, you know, we can chat about that. There's, but then there's the reality as well for people. Um, some people can't spend a ton of money, you know, on some of this stuff if it's organic and um, just fruit. So I think that um, trying to be realistic is important for us. So there's the, the main goal is to get everybody eating plant-based, and that could be a lot of cooked starches. Um, so like I say, soy products could be part of that. If you're used to having that, it's a really just a traditional thing. You had meat and potatoes. So um, over time, you can make veggie burgers with, you know, black beans and things like that, lentils. And, but maybe there's a period where you're, you're just grabbing soy, you know, some of these processed, um, or, you know, some of these soy products. I mentioned processed. There's certain things that you might buy that people would say, well, that's, too, that's really processed. You know, there's arguments about what that means exactly. If it's not a whole food that you could grab off a tree, you know, there, is there processing involved? Um, the other thing would be animal products. Like if you have something, if you've purchased shoes in the past or jackets that are leather, um, you know, have you gotten rid of them all? Um, just figuring out everything that you have and is made, you know, is it actually vegan? So I'm at this point, I'm not completely... I don't, I don't really want to delve into the complete vegan aspect of the things. I just want to be plant-based, low-fat, so that's going to improve people's health um, and, and help the animals get, get off the animals and the dairy. And um, So that's with perfection. Yeah, I just want to say that, you know, we're not perfect. We've posted things and people disagree with, you know, I put milled flaxseed on cereal, um, diet pop every once in a while. I was drinking you know, quite a bit more, you know, original pop years and years ago, like regular pop, and then eventually the diet. And over time, I've reduced it quite a bit. I don't really need it. I don't, it's just something that happens once in a while. Um, you know, the carbonation, there's also carbonated water and stuff that I've tried, but uh, um, yeah, and there's, you know, there's things about cereal, you know, you try to buy cereal with one or two ingredients, maybe somebody doesn't think you should eat cereal at all. Um, this is just whole grain cereal. Um, just different percentages of fruit. So I don't want us to lose sight. I always try to keep a practical approach, the big picture, and that is eat fruit and vegetables, you know, raw or cooked, it's up to you. Limit the oil and the processed foods. Um, and, you know, some of these other things you can just improve over time. So hopefully this helps some people. And I just want to make sure it doesn't stop anybody from, from doing this if they're afraid to be perfect. Uh, I'm getting, you know, yeah, I get the criticism and I have to just get a thick skin and keep plugging ahead because I'm trying to help people. And I, I don't do everything 100%, you know, perfect as far as they're concerned. Um, but as much as possible, positive message, stay on the plants and... Uh, Hopefully we can keep moving forward. So thanks, guys. See you later.